In this video, I will show how to create a single gold bar and then stack it into several bars. If you're on version 2021 or above, for GTA materials to work, set to max legacy and restart 3DS Max. Start by importing a skin for scale reference and the money safe from the game, which has its door open. The texture I will be using as end map can be found in the textures I extracted from GTA 3.IMG in Guide ID 1, which shows how to extract textures from the game. Start by creating a box and making it scale appropriate in comparison to the character's hands. We can tweak the size later if needed. Add a RW material to the box. Deform the gold bar to your liking. I usually prefer using the taper modifier, but in this case, I get best results using the squeeze modifier. Add the base gold color to your vertex colors. I have already found a dark brown color to work fine. It's mostly only the brightness of the color that is important to us. As we won't be exporting unique night vertex colors, I'll only add it to the vertex color channel. Add a chamfer modifier above the vertex paint modifier. Because the chamfer modifier changes our topology, we should always keep it above the vertex paint modifier. If we place chamfer underneath vertex paint, then we would have to reapply the vertex color each time we modify the chamfer segments. Press F4 and choose your chamfer amount. Because I am working in meters as units, it will help to hold ALT button while adjusting the amount. I will keep my segments at 1 because it produces far better vertex normals than if I were to set it as 0 segments. That said, increasing the segments amount also increases the polygons which we need to be careful with. Create an instance and place inside the safe. We can use the array modifier to turn it into a stack of gold bars. Create another set of gold bars at the top.
configure your material parameters, and export the files. I will be copying the original collision and TXD and use them for my custom model. I will also add the env map to the TXD.